And then I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you right. think that women's basketball and men's basketball going off in the tournament and the women's going as far as they are is kind of lighting a spark under the team to uh, get back to your grindstone and show what you guys have? Well, yeah, definitely. It's, it's great seeing the other teams have success, and it's awesome just being able to um, see the guys get so excited for it too. And sh uh, everybody's showing their support for um, for the men when they were in it, and then the women now. And it's just it's just incredible to see the um, see the success rate of other teams, and that's definitely a great bonding moment for everybody on campus as well as in the football facility. So how's spring? It's going great. Uh, loving life. Um, I'm just working back off a of shoulder yeah. injury, so. Yep. But I'm I'm running. I'm starting to lift. Next week, I'm back in the weight room, uh, starting to get after it. So, I won't be doing any spring ball, yeah. any practicing. But um, I'm really I'm really progressing with my recovery process, and I'm getting strong, bigger, stronger, faster right now. So, um, gained some weight, which is good too. So that's always nice. <laughs> and you're not getting beat up in practice. Yeah. No. Um, don't get me wrong. I'd much rather be practicing, but. Sure. Um, uh, at this stage, I needed to get the shoulder fixed. Now it's fixed, so now I'm just trying to get back as, as quickly as possible. Do you kind of become a coach? Yeah, absolutely. I would, I'm not going to say a coach, but a, uh, a mentor. Mentor, um, yeah. It's a great opportunity for me to grow and be able to explain, um, explain the why of the defense to some of the younger guys and try to help them out. Um, some of the transfers, some of the younger guys don't really have a whole lot of experience running our own stuff because, like I mentioned before, there is um, during the whole season last year, they were either doing scout team stuff mm -hmm. or they were um, in JUCO. So it's like they're just learning the Iowa defense, and it's incredible to see how much they've improved so far in just five practices now. And I'm, I'm just so excited to see uh, what point they get to by the end of the season. Are you – more excited about this coming season because you're going to be fully healthy. I mean, you battled that shoulder thing almost the entire year last year. Well, I I only half the season last year, but yeah. I mean, once it happened, I was I was pretty much back to normal by um, mm -hmm. a week later. So I mean, there's a little limitation, but it, it's not enough to be concerned about at all. I was able to still perform at a high level. I finished the season better than I started, and um, there's a lot of a lot of progression. I'm just, I'm glad I got it fixed so nothing shows up in the future. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there was any digression in my play last year at all. So. Do you think you'll feel fresher going into this year yeah. just because you don't have the, the wear and tear and your, and your shoulders say, fixed? Yeah, exactly. I would say um, just being withheld from the spring practice is definitely going to be a benefit for my overall health. Um, and then it just it just takes away a lot of that uh, daily pounding, daily beating up, getting beat up. But uh, yeah, KB does a great job at trying to get us right, trying to get us healthy, even when we are practicing. So that's not something I'm terribly concerned about long term. I know um, we do things the way we do things, and that's why we've had success. So I'm never going to wish that I'm not practicing. Yeah. I'd much rather be on the field right now. You're one of the leaders of this team. Um, Bring in a new quarterback, Cade McNamara. How have you seen him kind of, and how have you maybe helped him grab that leadership role right, that he's yeah. going to need on offense? Yeah, the biggest thing is trying to get him involved with the characteristics of the Iowa football team and trying sure. to get those standards that we have set so for so long, trying to get those implemented into his leadership style because he has a great leadership style. He's willing to hold people accountable. He's willing to work hard. He's willing to speak up when he needs to. And he's just, he does a great job at leading so far. Um, I'm excited to see uh, what the season has to hold for him just because he's, he's a great leader so far and he's been a lot of fun to be around. A uh, good man too, so it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to have him around.